Hey guys, this is Coach B with Coach B's Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about how should I use my super recruitment tickets. So, it's one of the questions that's most asked by everybody, so I definitely wanted to make a video on it so I can help you. Uh, first off, I would definitely like to ask everybody to please subscribe to the channel. It goes a really long way. I know I say it every video, but hopefully you've already subscribed and you are really helping us out. Um, so, for those who are wondering, I am a big advocate for saving tickets. I, if you watch my other videos, I told you in the beginning to hold your ticket to Iron Guard's banner, skip S1, and then I told you the ticket to get for S2, 3, and so on. So just to put it in perspective of how many tickets that you can have for, uh, for waiting, if you are using the VIP shop correctly and you're getting around 70 to 81 tickets a week just from uh, VIP shop and the cause the third cause box as well as winning uh, Clash of Zones day. I mean, let's just say you're getting 60 to, to 80. If we just use the calculator and added that up for seven weeks, which is typically the length of a, a doomsday or an Eden season, you're going to have anywhere between 450 to 500 tickets if you didn't use any. Let's just say it's lower and you only had, say, 420 tickets. It's still a lot of tickets, assuming you're doing the correct thing. So if you had 420 tickets going into one season, you're going to get a decent amount of heroes. You may not max them all, but you're definitely going to get some. So if you're waiting for the right heroes, like I told you before in the other videos, and you're going for the correct ones, you're always going to have enough tickets for it. So what I advise everyone to do, if you truly want to max at least three heroes, such as on a three-hero banner, you're going to need anywhere between 450 to about 650 tickets. So I actually maxed all three sisters, except for one-seventh skill, and around 480 tickets, which is lower than what most people do because I went for the three banner, and I followed the strategy that I told you about in the other videos. Um, I did get pretty lucky. Um, in S4, when I got Hummingbird, Commissar, and Juggernaut, it took me about 650 tickets to max all three of them. So that's the range that you typically need to max all of them. When you're using, uh, when you're going for all six of them, you're double the number. You're typically going to need around 900 tickets uh, to max all of them. That's why I do not advise trying to max every season uh, hero, uh, unless of course you're a big spender and you can afford it. But for those who can't, I definitely wouldn't. So if you're just saving. And you're doing it the correct way, you should have hundreds of tickets going into each season. So especially if in the beginning you just go for the, uh, a couple of heroes and then you skip S1 going into S2, you should have, I mean, at least over 500 tickets going into S2, which allows you to go for Ivan, Ivanov, and uh, maybe you can get Panther and Inquisitor. So if you just getting those three heroes, just getting a few of them, and then getting some Doom to rewards, maybe you use only 200, 300 tickets. You got 200 going into S3, and if you save them even more, then of course you're going to be set for S3 because S3 is a big hero, uh, a hero season because there's five heroes that you really need long term, three more than others. So that's what I would do as far as saving your tickets. As you can see, if I'll just show you what I have, I have it pulled for this particular base. For SX, and uh, I did do S4, and you saw how I told you I did 650 tickets for S4, and this is just from me saving. I had about 160 tickets left over from S4, and just from now S4 to where I am now, which is about uh, going into this, not quite the second week of Eden. I've already got 690 tickets, so that shows you how much. That I've saved. Now, granted, I do uh, spend some money on tickets. I wait for uh, the uh, cumulative purchase. And if you spend around $200, you can get 60 tickets through those uh, packages. And then if you, in the cumulative purchase, you're going to get, I can't remember the exact amount, but you're going to get between you know, 20 to 40 more tickets. So, which is a really, really good uh, way to save money. And go for an ex uh, a larger amount of tickets. As you can see, I've got 42 of these right here um, that I could transfer over here. So really, I've got like 730 tickets. So it's a good, pretty solid amount for SX if I wanted to pull right now. 
Um, so that's so that's what I advise you to do with your tickets. Save, 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 save. Use the VIP shop to ensure that you get it. Uh, if you haven't watched my video on the VIP shop and how you can get around 70 tickets a week, I strongly, strongly advise you to watch that video. It helps in the long term, and I mean, like I said, VIP in that video, VIP shop is the best purchase you can make in the game. So save your tickets, follow my hero videos and what seasons to skip, and you will be fine. You will be able to compete with all the best players. Um, if you can compete with 99% of the game and not really compete with 1% of the game, you'll really enjoy this. Um, you don't have to be the absolute best to enjoy this game. It's obviously nice. But it's still nice to be able to beat 99% of the players, assuming you do your tickets right. All the players who never save and they, they go into a season with 120 tickets, those players, I'm sorry if that's you, which other don't. Don't do that. It's just you're wasting money. You're wasting tickets. Save them until you have hundreds of tickets uh, that you can use. So hopefully that helped. Uh, Y'all have, have a good day.